Let's bring in Natalie Painter. Uh, she has uh, been doing a little bit of work on a story about how we could use these platforms in a more productive way. That's right. Although there may be no rules set in stone for social media etiquette, it is important that users are just as in tune to others as they are to themselves online. We are all guilty of spending too much time on our devices now and then, but while most people are able to moderate their use of social media, 20% of people feel that they have to check it at least once every three hours to avoid feeling anxious. Now, there are various factors that go into the way social media affects an individual. A professor at Drake University has some general recommendations. First is understanding the network. Second is avoiding drama and fights on your timeline. Third is unfollowing people that may not align with your views or benefit you anymore. And like everything these days, engage in more positivity online. I still think that there is there's good on these social networks, right? And I think people are, are good. And in some ways, these social networks have kind of forced us into these, you know, uh, buckets of people who believe certain things. Um, and that's created a lot of the problems. Um, but I think, you know, that you, you know, should engage with people you want to engage with. You know, I love talking to him because it just made me self-reflect the whole time and think about my use uh, as a social media user. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I grew up with social media. So, it, I'm, you know, I'm very numb to it in a sense, you know, like I, I have witnessed this. Can't since imagine I was a world without a it. Child. Very normal yeah. to you. Very mm -hmm. normal to you. Yeah. For so many yeah. of us, we kind of hopped into it. I remember getting Facebook like my junior year of high school and it's changed a lot since then, but you kind of have to protect your peace online. That's important to do. Well, I remember a world before social media very, very well. <laughs> and uh, I would say for people my age and, and older, 40s, 50s, older, the, the novelty of being able to just share whatever is on your mind is um, it, it's almost too tempting for us. So yeah. uh, people just post that stuff out there and then, you know, it leads to these big fights. And I guess just really bottom line is I don't see a lot of real productive conversation. you wouldn't do that in person. E yeah. Right? So I mean, what's the point in just posting a news headline out there that you know, you know about the COVID vaccine yeah. or something like that? Really, you're not starting any productive conversation. You're starting a bunch of fights. Yeah, 2020 was a My year. Opinion. Yeah, 2020 was a year when a lot more of us were spending time on the platform because we were spent inside. So all helpful tips, Natalie. Thank you.